Hi, we're Lindsay and Ken and we love to travel. Why not come and join us as we explore new places all around the world? Pick up some useful hints and tips and don't make the mistakes that we have. See the things that we get up to and take a look around the ships as we travel. Why not subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out. Hello and good evening. Sorry about that little bit before we start there. I forgot to turn my we're starting soon thing, but uh, nice to see you all on this bank holiday as it is yeah. in the UK. And finally, we've got a bit of blue sky out there. <laughs> a little bit of blue sky with a bit of rain as well um, through the day, yeah. but not too bad at all. So as we're starting, yes. um, can somebody kindly let us know that you can actually hear us yes. and see us? Probably better just to hear us. <laughs> and if you have a question, could you please put question at the beginning of your um, piece of script? Because that yes. would help us an awful lot. Yeah. Um, but meanwhile, we can start perhaps by uh, by saying hello to a few people that are already here. Yeah, so um, Cheryl was first in yes, this evening. Was Good first. evening, Cheryl. Nice of you to join us. It's a, I think it's a new name to us, but we're always pleased to uh, to see more people here every week. And we've also got uh, Katie in. Good evening, Katie. I don't think Katie's too far from us, is she? No, no. No, not at all. And we've got Dax with us at the moment, but... Who knows? I, <laughs> I don't know how long he's going to stay for because um, he only jumped up when Lindsay got her gin out. That's he? <laughs> right. He's a bit of a gin-addicted dog. So, <laughs> yes. So we've got Katie with us. Um, and indeed, we've got Alfie with us. Hi, Alfie. Hi, Alfie. Nice to see you here. And we have got Ageless Curiosity. Yeah, we've had a pretty good Easter, haven't we? Quiet. It's sort of been weather limited to a certain yeah, extent. Yeah, some of the things but, I had planned uh, to, to do in the garden, even today, had to be postponed because every time I went out the back door, it poured with rain. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and Margaret's here all the way from New Zealand. Hi, Margaret. Sorry about the time confusion. See, rather than trying to guess what all the other time zones around the world, I cheat by putting GMT or BST. I'm just lazy. lazy. Yeah, <laughs> well, maybe lazy. But nice of you to join us and sorry that you uh, came in because Margaret is in the future. She is. Mm, yeah, yeah. Very much so. It's a shame she can't tell us what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. Well, she could, but not here. <laughs> She's a long way away. She's 12,000 miles away. <laughs> and we've got Mark and Lindsay in. Hi, guys. Nice of you to join us. Yes. And yeah, we did. We did have some. Lindsay's got something new tonight. Mine's a different colour to the ones that you were drinking last night. Yeah, yeah that's. I know I moved. It. It's a strange combination. Yeah. Tell everyone what you've got, Lindsay. Um, well, it's a bit of a makeup. Um, mm. Somebody gave us a bottle of strawberry liqueur, and mm. we weren't really sure what to do with it. Um, and it's not really whether to try and make a a um, daiquiri frozen drink yeah, or frozen daiquiri. Drink. Like that. So I've basically got strawberry and uh, some rum. And actually, a, a, a couple of drops of lemon I put in oh. there. Just to, yeah. Oh. So, oh, actually, I don't know what it's going to taste like. Because <laughs> I taste, I tasted the liqueur earlier, and it reminded me of cough medicine. It was almost oh, like... that's better. That's better, is it? Yeah. Well, it's drinkable now, but I've been boring. Yeah. I've stuck mm. to my same old... But it's not Hendrix. No, you've got Sipsmith. we got Sipsmith this week. Because you drank all the other... No, you drank all Hendrix, so yeah, we've got that. Anyway. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to everyone. I hope you've all got some nice drinks with you as well. So, hi to Gil and Sandra. Gil and Sandra, we met on Fred Olsen on Balletta. And boy, oh boy, they're a bit of a bit of a quiz quiz demon team, aren't they? Yeah, they are they're, indeed. Uh, excellent. I'm going to say we're on our team. And we've got Neil here. Oh, Neil yes. is Hello, new. Neil. Neil started following the, the um, page, I think, a few days ago. So, nice of you to join us now. Pleased to see you. And we've got the cruising gaze here. Hi, guys. I hope you had a wonderful time on um, Sun. I know you're only on there for five days, but I uh, hope it was a great time for you. And 
Katie says hi to the beautiful Dax. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. He yeah. knows it. Look. He, he knows, knows it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. Oh, and yes, we can hear and see you. Thank you very okay. much, guys. That's all good, all good. Because you never quite know what's going to happen, do you? No. No, not really. And we've got Janine. Oh. No, Lindsay, is that the Janine that's going on the cruise that we're on next I year? I think so. Oh, well, say hi, because you've been Hello. sort of chatting to her. Yeah, I think that's the um, Northern Lights cruise. Northern Lights cruise. So, uh, yeah, we, we think Janine's on there because you were showing her bits and pieces of the last time we yes. went, weren't you? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. and a postcard and a pint high. Sounds a really good idea. It does, I love it? that. I love that title. And uh, Oh, and Jerry's here as well. Hi, Jerry and Diane as well. Probably. Um and Claire as well. She's, well. she's not far away from us either. Hi, Claire's not Claire. a million miles away, no, is she? Really. She's one of your, your duck duck buyers, isn't yes, she? she is. Yeah, she's a few of your ducks. And Keith, hi, Keith and Christian are ready to hear you and see you at all times. Oh, thank oh, you very much, Keith. Well nice. Oh, and Commodore Steve. Steve. Hi. Evening, sir. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> nice of you to join us. Because Sandra can hear and see us. Oh, yeah. Katie has a question about Lahar. Well, if you'd like to ask us what the question is... <laughs> we might be able to answer it. <laughs> we'll try and answer it, but it may not be that complimentary being Lahar. No, it no, may not be. But um, we'll wait and see what the question is. So we'll, we'll see what it comes out. And the cruise monkey's here. Hi, Gav. Hi, Luke. I hope your garden went well. Yes. So um, just popping in and say hi. We'll try and get home before the end. Well, that's good. Yeah. Okay. I hope because they had a big gardening. They are they planning to do a lot in the garden. Planning to do a yeah. lot of garden on Saturday, weren't they? So uh, yeah, it's it's our always, plans came a cropper, but I hope theirs didn't. Yeah, I always did. But maybe it would be strange if they had less rain in Wales than we did here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Question from Claire: I'm on Ventura and May. Can I have a top tip? Not been on her before. Top tip. Um, top tip. Um. Uh. Oh, gosh, where well, do you start? Well, there's quite a few top tips. Really. There's quite a lot of top tips, yeah. Um, um, Ventura, we were very pleasantly surprised when we went on her, weren't we? Because yes. we haven't been on for 15 years and we've heard a lot of bad sort of vibes about her. She still had her issues. Mm -hmm. She's a slightly older ship. There are signs of wear and tear, but she's really clean and really well looked after. As always, that we find that the um, crew are very pleasant very yeah. happy um and really um, because we tend to sit at a bar quite often um and we were in metropolis a lot lot of the nights weren't we yeah um and we sat at the bar in metropolis it was easy to get a chair there um and chatted to the bar staff they were really friendly really nice Brilliant. um i had a good chuckle with them um and it was really quite a nice place to go. It, it, it's an yeah. adult-only evening area. Yeah, and it? it's not that easy to get to. No. So here's a Tom tip for you, Claire. <laughs> Metropolis is on deck 18 or 19. Um, right up there. And somewhere. it's right at the back of the ship. And the only way to get there, because it gets sort of tangled up with the children's area, doesn't it? So the way to get there is to go right to the back of the ship on the promenade deck and then go up in the lift. Yeah, go up as high as you can. Or go up on the stairs because you sort of get tangled up in the kids areas else that yeah. was a bit confusing but it's a nice bar to be in nice um, bar. during the day it's got some um nice views but they do tend to do a lot of mm. crafting up there mm. um and um I, I would say that uh eating i would say um well glass, we had some really good experiences glass we? house yeah we we had really good food in the glass house and um, although it's it's not a hidden away restaurant no there are people going kind of around the outside of you. Um, it is still a, a restaurant within a, almost within a walkway. Yeah. It's a bit strange to it. But they've got these little secluded areas. So, yeah, so if you, you do want to go there and you don't want people running past you, just say, could yeah. we have a table over the corner? Please? And there's a really nice bar adjacent to it. Yeah. Um, and we found that that was a nice, pleasant place to be because people would come and go and the... Um, you know, at different times of day, they'd stop and have a drink before dinner, and so it's a nice place to meet people. Yeah. Um, and, and because uh, we're not pudding people, we tend to what we tend to do is have three small plates uh, for starters mm -hmm. between the two of us, and then we'll have a main course because we're not really pudding people, are we, that much? No. Um, but I was on Fred also. <laughs> probably because they were nicer. So have a three plate because you have if you have three plates. 
it's £6.75, whereas if you buy three individually or two, you more or less get three for the price of two, don't you? Yeah. And the one that I would definitely recommend on there is the Thai beef salad, <gasps> if you like beef, if you're not vegetarian or something, obviously. The Thai beef salad. Yeah, it's really nice. And the prawns are really nice. Yeah, we yeah. do like that. And mm. actually, we found that we had a sharing plate of the cheese and biscuits in the end, didn't we? We did, yeah. We had a bit of red wine left over. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and so we had some of that, and it was a um, really nice sharing plate. Mm. I think I would have struggled to eat all of it myself. Yeah, um, but it's nice but it to was, share sometimes. It, it was nice, actually. It was a nice selection, wasn't it? Yeah. But um, the other place that we found oh, really, really good was special. the Epicurean. We actually had our wedding anniversary up in the Epicure and we didn't vlog it because it was our night and we sort of kept it private you know I, I know we do vlogging and things like that but sometimes you just want to do something for yourself and we did didn't yeah. we um so Epicure really nice food yeah. really nice service used to be called the white room mm -hmm. when we first went on in 2008 um then they've got the theatre, which is quite nice. Yes. Um, and they've also got Manhattan at the other end of the ship, which is like a show lounge. Um, and they do some shows down there. But it's also the late night dance area, isn't it? But we also found that the Epicurean had brought back some of the yeah. uh, uh, some of the display um, dishes that a lot of the other uh, um, ships are not allowed to do for yeah. one reason or another. Yeah. It must have been the way that the uh, re that particular restaurant was set up in the first place. Mm -hmm. But they were able to flambe, and uh, they had brought back um, serving the uh, oh the Iberico ham yeah, was half carved that, at that the was table because you had that. So there were a few yeah um, extra bits that always used to be there before COVID mm. that had started to creep back, mm. uh, and that, that was a lovely surprise. It was really really nice. We had a lovely meal in there. We weren't over impressed with the beach house, were we? No, um, <laughs> for a speciality dining, but we have been very impressed with it on other P and O ships. So it may have just been that we caught it at the wrong time or something because normally it's quite nice. Um, any other tips for Ventura? Oh, out the back of the, by the pool at the back. They've sort of got a tiny little sort of tiered area at the back of the ship with a swimming pool out there. And that's actually quite a nice place. If the weather's, if the weather's, if the weather's yeah. okay, early yeah. evening or even late evening, they've got a bar out there. And it's a nice place just to sit out there and watch the wake, wake view and have a couple of drinks. Watch the sail away from there. It's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's what we've got. Well, Postcard and Pint said it looks like a really nice drink. This one, yeah, I was quite surprised. Obviously, my mixology has come into it. Well, oh, sorry. you've watched enough being done in the past, yeah. haven't you? One yeah. or two. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Fraser's here. Good evening, Fraser. Oh, hello, Fraser. Uh, one of us. Hopefully, this will be the year I'll bump into you. It oh, will wow. be really nice, but have you? are you still full-time cruising now, Fraser, or have you sort of gone back to work? Well, he can't keep going all the time, can he? Well, perhaps he's working on the ships. Well, he might be working yeah. on the ships. You'll have to get in touch with us privately and, and yeah. let us know uh, whereabouts you're going to be yeah. sort of to the end of the year. And we'll see if our, any of ours are going to... We sort of know where we are to the end of this year yeah. and we got two, two books for next year, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. And usually, I know where I am. I don't necessarily know where I'm going. <laughs> but you did on the other day you found your way around the last ship you were on better than yeah. I did yeah, yeah. yeah. and Janine and you, says yes. it is good. Yes. good we'll have to arrange near the time to meet up for a, a quick um, cocktail yes or two ah Keith is on Queen Anne so I presume you're on the maintenance and we're on there really looking forward to it it's starting oh. to get yeah it's starting to get really real now exciting I mean we and did... unlike Sun they're being very public about mm. everything um, and the excitement is building within Cunard and within their PR yeah. and everything like that. Um, it's it's noticeably different vibes to everything that was going on before Sun was launched. Mm. Um, thank goodness. And we know a few people that have actually been invited on the Shakedown cruises, yeah. whereas Sun didn't have any Shakedown no. cruises planned. No. So we're hopeful that it is going ahead on the day. You might finally get your birthday fireworks. I might finally get my 60th birthday fireworks, which was January the 4th. <laughs> but that's why we booked it. 
because it was my... Because I was being a skinflint and didn't want to buy fireworks myself. No. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Queen Anne. I wonder when the speciality dining will open up and yeah. we can start booking some of that because we've got... We've sort of made a list of things. And that's the other thing, what we wanted to ask tonight, is if anyone has got a list of things they'd specifically like us to look at on Queen Anne, if we get time... Drop us a message. Drop us a message. Don't put it in the live track. Drop us a message... Put it on the website or you can put it um, on the chat afterwards if you're watching on replay and do it that way. Because, um, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll have a look at We'll try and do our best. We may not be able to get into the grills areas. No, <laughs> almost certainly. <laughs> almost certainly not. No, we can't afford that. <laughs> but, yeah, so, yeah, really looking forward to it. And, Keith, if you do see us, do pop over and say hi because yes. we'd love to have a chat. Um, and, and maybe a drink. And we don't necessarily recognise people because no. we see a, 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 a sort of little icons of, of people's um, faces and things. So please come over and say hello. Yeah. Because um, that would be fun to see as well. Yeah, it would. Yeah. It's good. Commodore Steve. Yes, we can hear to you. Great oh. news about today. I have over 100 subscribers. Oh, oh congratulations, oh, Commodore exciting. Steve. It is exciting. It's exciting every time you get. A... We've got a sort of ritual in our house, haven't we? We have. Mm. Doesn't that very often? It's a darn good excuse. So every time we get another fifty subscribers, we have a drink or two to celebrate, we don't do. we? And Lindsay's got our channel as well, the Virtual Gardener, which is all gardening stuff. And Lindsay this week, she had you clocked up. No, Four. last week you clocked up four hundred subscribers yeah. on there. So yeah, so it's um. I normally get do. 50 subscribers every eight months on that little channel. <laughs> yeah. So what you need to do, Steve, is join us. Yes. And whenever you've got your 100... Reward yourself. Reward yourself. Have a drink, because it's not easy. And the only way to do it is to, is to keep plugging away at it, I think. Mm, We're it not is. doing that well, are we? But no, no. we enjoy it. Yeah. Mm. That was nice to have a drink for somebody else. It mm. is, yeah. yes. Congratulations, mm. Steve. Right. Age is curiosity. Hi, Colonel Lindsay. We'll be on Queen Anne soon, and it'll be our very first Q knuckers. Any chips to share on what to expect regarding? Did you say chips? That's me too. I'll get some new ones to keep up the good work. Thank you, Alison and Ian. So, tips for Q knuckers. It's probably the most formal of the um, cruise ships that we've, we've been ever on. been on. Yeah. Um, there are some people who don't necessarily adhere to the. Um, um, dress code of an evening but they are very much in the minority mm. um, I think actually everybody enjoys the aspect of dressing yeah. up on there um, it, you don't have to com go completely all out no. but uh, you know no. as, as a lady I normally wear something that's got sparkle because I find that if you wear something that's sparkly enough it covers over all the other ills um, and, and it's easy enough for you guys. You just wear it a is. suit. Well, yeah. Well, I've got my DJ, and I wear the same. I've been wearing the same thing for like thirty years, so it's pretty boring. But it's easy for us. It's the ladies that suffer. I've they often really said that suffer. there ought to be a, a really good, nice dinner jacket suit sort of thing for ladies. Yeah, that'd be really easy for me as well. Then <laughs> the other thing that we've not actually come across yet on Cunard are the thing nights. Yeah. Well, we have, but they've been simple ones. Because we don't quite know what we'll do if we get a, a 20s theme night. You know, I've got some stage costumes that I have. I've got a bright red sort of 1920s. Believe me, there are two issues with that. Firstly, it's very red. And I think I'd be at the other end of the ship. And secondly, I don't think it'll fit. Yeah, it will fit. Just, it was too big when I bought it. So, so do we go that hop? You don't have to. No, or do you do it subtly? So you that's might... the other thing on theme nights. Is yeah, it? you don't have to adhere to the theme. No. So whilst it might be a formal night that's, um, say, black and white, uh, you don't have to wear black and white. And what a lot of ladies well, do. I do. Yeah, but what a lot of ladies might do is they'll put some sort of accessory with it the, with their outfit so that that gives it the black and white. So yeah. um, wearing a black dress with a, with white accessories and and that sort of thing uh, mm. seems apparently to work. I know that um, on the maiden we've got uh, black and white. Yeah, I'm cheating. I'm wearing silver. Silver oh, and black. You see me? I'm silver. Yeah. Um, and um, the other one is. Uh, 
masquerade. And the other thing you can make a nod to it, like on red and gold, I'll wear a red dicky bow, but I'll probably wear just my DJ again. But the other thing is that there are more venues on Cunard that the formality applies in. Mm -hmm. So on a lot of ships, like on piano, if you go on, it's usually like one or two bars, like a Crow's Nest or an Anderson's Bar. Um, and the dining room on Cunard, it applies to the theatre as well, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So it applies more. But all I say is it's not every day. No. Embrace it, it and make, enjoy it. Makes it, it really because, extra special because it does make it special. Because yeah. you look around and everyone's doing it, and mm. you know, and you don't have to go and get your photograph taken by the photographers. No. There will always be somebody around that would be happy to take a quick mm. snap for you, so that you can get your your photo in 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 the in front of the staircase and things like that, the iconic places. Mm. And people will always do that rather than fork out yeah. the expensive. And the, and, the, the and, and the the well, unless you want it, well, you no, want but it. it's quite expensive on there. It's quite expensive, but the the sommeliers and the waiters are always very happy to help. Yep. And and this is the other thing they seem to up their game a little bit on formal night, don't they? Mm. They just you know when they're pouring a drink, they put the finger in the air and just it's yeah. just that little. That's in the Commodore club. Yeah, the Commodore club. We, we had a waiter that things. when he poured his poured tonic into your glass yeah. he did it with a little bit of a trick and a flare yes because he turned it upside down he turned it upside down I don't yeah. know how he worked it I'm sure he must be doing sleight of hand yeah. um, but it just made it very special mm. yeah. yeah so embrace it and go with it but yeah it's just nice isn't it yeah. I mean we like I wouldn't want to do formal every day don't get me wrong I quite like I mean here we are today sporting our new yeah. <laughs> our new hoodies um and yeah, I like to wear this some nights. Usually on Q night, I wear a jacket and open neck shirt yeah. the other nights. Um, but yeah, it, just enjoy it for what it is. And, and, and we like it, don't we? Now yeah, and again, now and but again, not, not all the time. time. No, not all the time. So Katie Dare says, I've opened my Christmas present, raspberry absolute vodka. Delicious. She'll take a tip from the heart to stay on board. Queen Mary 2 while in port. I've already booked a guided tour to Bruges. Oh, uh, very nice. So yes. there are things. The thing that I would do if I was going to La Havre is go to Omfleur. If you get the chance. And if especially if there's a trip to go there. Yeah, if there's Much a trip. Easier. Omfleur is a beautiful little place just to walk around, find a cafe, have a drink. There's some beautiful scenery, some old houses there, a lot of history there. So that's the only other thing I would do. I wouldn't stay in La Havre because it's there's not a lot there, is there? No, not um, really. There was a few containers that are coloured. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and in yeah. a pretty pattern. Um, yeah. And there is a little market square there. And, yeah. and there, is, there are quite... A, if you go in and through that little, that little park area... Mm. And then into the town, there's quite a few nice little bars there. Mm, yeah. Um, but it's, it, you know. it's quite concrete as well, but I think that, unfortunately, is down to the decimation during World War II. And if I were you, I would get off. Is it there? Get off and have a work, look. No, it's not there at Sherbrooke. Get off and have a look through the museum museum area. Mm, no, yeah, but, but yeah, Sherbrooke. I would get off yeah. um, and have a look around. Yeah. Um, if you walk into town... It's a long walk. It is quite a walk, yeah. Penny which dock you're docked at, yeah. just one's further than the other. It's quite a long walk, but if you're on Queen Mary, you'll have complimentary shuttle buses anyway. Probably, yes. Yeah. Um, and a guided tour to Bruges. Yeah. But there is one thing, we were there one day, um, and they had a street market, didn't they? A fresh produce market, fish and things like that. Not that you really want to take that when you're on a cruise, but it was quite interesting to look around. Yeah. But on Fleur would be my trip from there, because... Um, I wouldn't want to go to Paris because you spend like five or six hours of the mm. day travelling. Um, unless just, you've never been to Paris and before. And just on the raspberry vodka, yeah, we just fin finished a bramble gin. Oh, yes, we? we just finished a bottle of bramble gin that somebody gave us for Christmas, Katie. Nice. Mm. Katie, yes, yes, very nice. Katie, it was very nice, yes. So, Cruising Gates, hi guys, it's Elliot Mark, isn't it, I think? Yes, yes. good. Um, next cruise is the Maiden of Queen Anne. And yeah, we're getting really quite, <laughs> quite excited. Going to be special, I think. I hope so. Um, Jerry, any plans to go on Fred again? It looked really good. Sorry, we couldn't make it. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have met up again. Yeah, really. We loved Fred. I mean, for those of you who have, we've got a vlog series at the moment. 
there's one more vlog to come which comes out next Saturday which is our final sea day if you haven't seen the one that went out this weekend which is our day in Amsterdam have a look at it it's quite good fun and we do we have specialty dining no specialty dining is on the next one in, in Vasco so we haven't booked anything on Fred yet but yes we will be going on Fred at some point and I want to do a summertime one and we'd like to do something between seven and ten days really ten days yeah um it's finding something that fits it certainly won't be this year no um, it won't be this year because fully booked but yeah yes as soon as you walk on there, you just feel completely comfortable. Yeah. Within 10 minutes, the bartender was chatting to us as if he'd known us for years. <laughs> um, we knew his name. We knew the name of the waiter. Dennis and John. De mm. Dennis the Menace, I think. Yeah. Um, and, and it was just, it, they greeted us like old friends. It yeah. was quite amazing. Bearing in mind, we are quite used to people recognising us from yeah. our times on Aurora. Yeah. Um, but to go on a ship for the very first time and to feel as though they have known you for years mm -hmm. was very bizarre um, and really, really comfortable. It is traditional. Yeah. It wasn't old. No. We were sort of middle of the range. And I think, Jerry, you're a bit younger than us, I think, um, or similar, similar ages anyway. Um, but, yeah, we were middle of the range and it didn't go to bed at 10 o'clock at night. No. You know, every night the observatory till 2 o'clock in the morning, which is enough for us when you're up. In the yeah. morning. I suppose that might change if you were on something like Northern Lights Cruise because that tends to be different or even uh, um, going up to the Baltic sort of area yeah. um, but it didn't go to bed at that time there no. were a lot of people up there partying and the live music they had on there was very good very good and even the other bars most of them didn't shut until one o'clock in the morning so even if you just wanted to sit in quietly and chat to people um you was you would still be there at one o'clock there's no doubt about that um, so yeah it, we were quite surprised um at the 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 amount of younger people. Yeah. Um, and children. And ch yes, and children. Well, it wasn't a huge amount of children, but children, but one lovely children. Yes. Yeah. You, you didn't like one. She spoiled our sh she shuffleboard. She spoiled game, game shuffleboard, <laughs> but yeah. But no, really nice kids on board as well. They were good. Yeah, they were very yeah. good. Very well yeah. behaved. Very nice. Very nice ship indeed. Mm -hmm. And Jerry's on and Diane are on Shiraz and Pinot Grigio oh, tonight. Oh, oh, very yes, nice. Yes, very nice. Yes, yes, very is nice that a bottle indeed. each? <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Don't well, judge. Should... Ev don't judge everyone by king oh, standards. It's a question that has to be asked. So, postcard and a pint. Say, we're thinking of MS Scenic purely as it's affordable. Are they party till dawn ships? Yes. No. 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 <laughs> so we've only done two very short MSC cruises, and they were back to back party cruises. So our experience could be a little bit different to normal because we all know that the four day three day party cruises um is different i mean it was full of um hen parties and stag parties and things like that so we won't be rushing back to msc will we no uh, but it is very good value for money but there were some things on there that were a lot better than we thought the drinks package is phenomenal yes it is if yeah. you can get served that was the problem we had because it was so busy and so overcrowded. We struggled to get served. But the drinks package is wonderful drinks package um, if you like your drink. Um, the food in the buffet was super. The choice in the buffet. And if you go up the far end of the buffet towards the back, we were on Virtuosa. Not sure which ship you're looking at. Um, and that was there was always plenty of room to sit there. And the food was actually a good choice and reasonable. The main dining room was variable. Yes. Variable, <laughs> I think. Odd things that they would serve up. Yeah. Um, there wasn't anything particularly wrong. It was no. just... Um, Apart from that pasta. Yeah, that pasta was really, really, yeah. really weird. So you had it? some good things there, some bad. The service is okay. It was very loud in the dining room. I've never seen... I've never been in a dining room that was so loud and there was... I mean, on the final night, on one of the cruises, they were all jumping up and down and partying and screaming and shouting and the people at the tables were doing Mexican waves and all sorts of things, weren't they? Yeah, that was nice to see. It was a bit... It was it, nice to it see. Got, it, it was a bolt out of the blue. We didn't know where yeah, that was coming from. But it sort um, of went on quite a long time. Yeah. Um, I just don't think it's really for us. No. Uh, um, very good if you've got children. Yes. Um, 
Yes. Really good if you've got children. They're very, very child orientated um, and good. The shows were a lot better than we thought. The, the production ones, the shows. The ones we saw, we thought were very good. Yeah. We didn't see any of the pay pay for view ones. No, in the carousel. Um, but everybody was saying how, how good, they, good were. they were. Yeah. Um, so you know, um, fair play to that, really. Um, so yeah, it's and the other thing is that people. We've been told by other people that if you sail out of Europe, if you're sailing out of Barcelona or somewhere like that, it's quite a different experience. Right. It's less anglicised. The um, You then get into multilingual, because we were lucky because we sailed from the UK and we had basically everything was in English. If you sail from Europe, it's, it's four or five languages all the time. Um, so, yeah, we we won't be rushing back, but that's us. But it's very good value for money. The cabins were okay. They were a bit Ikea in places. where You hated the wardrobes, didn't you? But lovely and roomy. A balcony cabin on there is lovely and roomy. Showers and all that. Bathrooms. But that first cabin we had was awful, Ken. The first one we had, yeah, but that was a bit of a strange cabin. It was awful. Yeah. Yeah, it was just it's like the balcony ones. Fine. Was, if we'd been there any length, more lengths of time than that, you'd have murdered me. <laughs> like yeah, um, but it, no. The first one was awful. The second one wasn't as as bad. But you know, you 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 pays your money. You takes a choice. You know, mm. we could have paid a lot more. Yeah, and there's also well, you mentioned that it's a uh, on a budget, affordable. So um, the other thing that I think might appeal to us, and people have told us, is to try the yacht club, but. We've looked at some of the prices on there and it's more expensive, or when we've looked, it's been more expensive to go on the Yacht Club on MSC than it has to go on Oceana or Azamara. And out of the two, I think Oceana and Azamara fits us better. From what we've seen of Azamara, we haven't, yeah, we haven't been, been on, on Azamara. Um, um, if anyone's yeah. watching, we'd like to. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'd like to. But yeah, yeah. Oceana. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we wow. loved it. We loved it. So, Lindsay and Mark, what's the thing you're most excited about for Queen Anne? And is there anything you're concerned about? Well, obviously, the concern is the same concern as you had on Sun, <laughs> that she won't actually sail, which is always a possibility. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, yes, um, until you're... Until you're actually awake going away from the key. Yeah, and we know being a maiden cruise, some things won't be working quite right. Yeah, but we are prepared for that. Yeah, we are prepared for that. We've done it before with Azura, wasn't it? Um, excited uh, about? Excited. Uh, just just well, to be on a new ship. To be on a new ship and to see what new cocktails they're coming out with. Yes. Oh, sorry. Because they're going to have some... I think they're bringing out a fourth gin as well, aren't they? Oh, I think so. Which would be worth a try. Yeah. But it's the... I mean, you just come off the sun, so you know what it's like. It's the fact that when you walk on the carpet, it bounces. And every corridor you walk through, every room you walk in... And oh. nobody knows where they're going. No, you've got that new car smell, haven't you? Yeah, nobody knows where you're going. So you'll be walking, oh, where are we going, where are we going? It's just fun, isn't it? It's exciting. We always get excited going on any new ship, but going on a brand new ship, we won't have been able to sort of watch somebody else's YouTube videos to find out... Where to go. Where to go and what's going on. We're going to be doing it ourselves for the first time. Yeah. And that's quite exciting. And we're looking forward to the fireworks as well, aren't we? Well, it better be fireworks. Yeah. Apparently, hopefully. we've got. There, there's meant to be an escort taking us out on the first um, uh, first night. Yeah. I know that, that she's being escorted in on the twenty seventh, so we might be glued to um, television that morning. Yeah. Um, YouTube uh, on YouTube to yeah. to see that because I know that the fireboats are bringing her in and things like that. Um, Unless they've popped up. Oh, yeah, we could. But there's a flotilla bring her in. Mm. Um, but the likelihood is that they'll have some sort of um, uh, flotilla taking her out as well. Yeah. And we know that there's um, the chap that we met on, Fred Olsen, who's part of the steam Oh, yeah, the, the, the little steamboat that's there. Um, Hugh. Hugh. Hugh, his name is. Yeah. Um, and we know that he's one of the volunteers that works with them, and he's already told us that they're going to be part of the flotilla yeah. taking her out yeah. on that first uh, day so we've already said to him that we will wave across at him yeah whether i'll be sober enough to or not as an <laughs> so yeah we are doing the drinks package on that one because we yeah. think it's a celebration cruise yeah yeah and we do other things concerned about not really well yeah i am i'm concerned about getting the balance right from enjoying the experience and recording it for prosperity so 
as you know, we vlog and we film things, but I don't want that to spoil what we're seeing and what we're going for. That's my slight concern that I get it right because I don't want to miss out on us sailing away with all the stuff. I don't want to be sat in there editing a first impression thing all that because I don't. Um, so that's my that's my other concern is that I get the balance right because I want to enjoy it. Yeah, I'll keep you balanced. You will. I will. You're gonna kick me, aren't you? <laughs> so I hope that I hope that answers. Um, oh, and Dan's here. Hello, Dan. Hi, Dan. We'll be seeing you soon because Dan's on the uh, on the maiden as well, yes. isn't he? We might even see him before then, but we'll have to get in touch about that because mm-hmm. we are all booked up for Friday now. So Dan knows what we're talking about. We've got a few people saying hello to each other. Oh, that's which nice. Is really nice. Travelling. Right. Good question. Really good question. Um, you're doing your first ambassador cruise next week. Would you consider the cruise line? Might right. I'll let you do a bit of that about this because you know what we've been trying to do. We've had it in our minds for some time that we would like to do ambassador, um, but because we live in the West Country, we would very much like to do it from Bristol mm. uh, because it's only thirty five miles up the road. Mm. Um, but not only that, because it would be a you know, local... Yeah, yeah, it's our home port as such, and mm. we would very much like to do it from there. So we keep on looking at the um, itineraries that are coming out, and um, nothing seems to fit. Well, we can't for this year anyway, so we were desperately waiting for 2025 six to come out, which came out two weeks ago, and we've been looking and looking and looking on that, and we found one that fits. Um, but we're on another cruise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, it's always the same isn't it <laughs> so there is another one that we were looking at but it ends up in Newcastle which yeah. sort of defeats the object of doing the sailing local it sails from Bristol um, and then it goes Silly Isles and it's quite yeah, inter- the, really the nice it was quite nice St. Actually. Peter Port yeah, and yeah. then ends up in Newcastle and we'd have to get back from Newcastle which I guess you can jump on a train or a bus or something like that but the whole idea was to try and do a to and from Bristol. There are more, but they're they're a bit long for a first time on a new cruise company. I don't want to go on to a brand new cruise line for 19 days because if I didn't like it, I would get miserable, wouldn't I? I would get snotty. <laughs> um, so we're looking for something five to seven days, yeah. ideally. We'd like to go out of Bristol. And there is one more that's sort of that, that only one that really suits us it ends up in Newcastle. Mm. So I mean, we would love to hear more about it. Yeah, There's we'd love to go on it. Such little online about her, uh, about any more. of the rubbish. There is a little bit more now, but not, not a huge amount. So it's very difficult to find out whether, whether, yeah, whether we would want to do a longer one. Yeah. And that's kind of what we did with Fred Olsen. We went on a show. Five days. Time. Yeah, we did five days and really wished that we'd, had longer yeah uh but there you go yeah means that we're going back so here's gil and sandra we met they were on fred with us or we were on fred with them um and um yeah they were the oh, stalwarts right. of our quiz they were. so speciality dining that we'd like to try on queen anne if we can get it yes if we can get it yes so we're not into sushi or Japanese food, so we won't be looking at that one. I've got to try the, and remember the names of them. Although they, the, the, the Japanese one, they are doing things at lunchtime as well, Yeah, which uh, sounds a little bit different and a little perhaps more um, for those of us that, that don't necessarily like it or know that well, they like it. So yeah. we might try something like that, but mm. Mm, that's not going to be our priority. Nope. There's the one that's... Um, ta, 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 ta. To one's because ta- ta- tamarind, tamarind, not tamarind. No, no, not tamarind. There's, one that's, that's... there's a Mediterranean one on there yeah. that we want to try. Yes, both of us want to yeah. try that. There's a, there's it's... a steakhouse which is Sir Samuel's, yes, which we want to try, and there's the Indian one called Arawanya, Arawan, Arawan, something like that. Yeah, because the but Japanese we... one is Aji Aji Moor okay. or something in it. Um, so we'd like to do all yes, of them. We'd, we'd like they? to do them, and mm. of course, afternoon tea. Very much so. And and the Golden Lion. Oh, yes, of course we've got that option. Because we're well. a bit confused at the moment because 
we keep seeing posts about Michel Roux and his involvement in the new menu in the gold mm-hmm. line. And we're not quite sure. Perhaps Dan could answer because he knows all things. He knows all things. He knows all things. Yes. Um, so we're not quite sure whether the menu at lunchtime is included and similar to what it is now. And then there's a different menu in the evening, which is chargeable and is a Michel Roux menu. We don't know because we've seen different answers mm-hmm. to that question. Um mm-hmm lots of time so we're not sure what the answer is hmm. sherry saying hi to everybody yeah hi nice. sherry from uh over there in carolina nice to see you and yeah Alfie prefers to on the older ships now mm. yeah this is a <laughs> difficult one because i quite liked the menu that they had on iona yes it was much more to my liking it was because um, you don't like Indian food. Not particularly. No. Um, so um, that was more to my liking. However, when we were on Ventura last November, yeah, it wasn't good. As good as it was, was it? It wasn't good. No. Well, we some don't the, know some why. Some of the dishes were fine. Yeah. But for a speciality restaurant, we were in and out in 55 minutes? 45 minutes. No, it was 55. 55, was 55 it? 55 minutes. Yes. It's strange. That's not, to me, what a, a, a specialist restaurant is all about. No. It's about t- taking your time, having you know, having yeah. time to enjoy the meal. The portions had been cut to, to such an extent that even I came away mm-hmm. uh, not being stuffed full, mm. which, you know, I haven't got a huge appetite. You'd never believe it, but I haven't. Um, this is bread. But, yeah. Well. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I just thought, well, we actually mentioned it to the restaurant manager as we came out. Yeah. Who it turned out our paths had crossed over the years. Um, not that we knew her, and she didn't know us. Uh, but it took uh, in talking to her, we we had been on similar ships when she was working there, so we kind of crossed paths. She did admit to us that that perhaps things had gone a little bit too far, and that it would be mentioned. So. Whether it would make another, any difference or not, I don't know. But to skimp on something um, like rice, plain boiled rice, mm. um, when they could have put another handful in and it wouldn't have cost them anything. No. Um, I, I just thought that was a bit tight. We will see on Aurora later yeah, this year. Yeah, because we're going to go back to Aurora. And we've always had really good stuff on Aurora. Yeah. But, um, we so will see. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I think... They sort of come and go a bit, depending on the staff that are there at the time. Sometimes which it is depends a bit on the chef, strange. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So Rose is saying good evening. Hello, Rose. Good evening, Rose. Good another stalwart of the, of the, the quiz. quiz. Yeah, yeah, we met Rose on Fred as well. Nice to have met you. Um, and Age's Curiosity is saying that Cindy on Britannia is the favourite of the four. Now, our favourite on Britannia mm. is the glass house we think that the glass house on britannia is our favorite glass house on any piano ship. i have no idea why but it's just really really good yeah we've had some real we've only had good experiences in there it's been really great if Actually, you're going on britannia katie was with us one night yeah so. she was glass house fantastic mm. on britannia our best best yeah. experience Evening, Andy and carla oh you'll catch up with the first bit later i hope you got a glass of wine in your hand would be nice. I like we're not it? on a big screen. Oh, <laughs> and Bill's here. Hi, Bill. Oh, Once from Adventures all the way from Canada. Nice to see you, Bill. If anyone um, hasn't seen Bill's channel, pop over and have a look. He mm. does some very, very interesting itineraries. So grab over, pop, pop over to Warm Strong Adventures on YouTube and have a look. He also does very regular lives as well. And He's done things and places that we haven't been or have never even thought of going. So he's quite a good source of information if you're looking at new new cruises and mm-hmm. new itineraries. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, 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 I hope we have a lovely Easter. Yeah, we've had a lovely Easter. Oh, Dan. He's booking all the speciality <laughs> dining. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, can't wait to meet you both finally. Yeah, it will be really good to meet Um you're booking all. We don't, we don't, yeah. well, I think I could cope with cooked Japanese. I just don't like raw food I'd rather. Much. I would rather go to the others. Mm. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. And we've mm. got to try out the main dining room as well. I don't know and how we're going to fit got, it in. We've only got seven days and we're already fat. <laughs> we'll be huge if we eat everything. Mm. So, yeah. Um, oh, Janine. 
I'd love to that you and Ken and Jamie and Charlie Brown have really made me want to cruise, even with fear of water. Oh, buy us both a drink. There's no need to buy us a drink. We'd just love to share your company with you yes, if you right. do see us. And that will be next March. March. Won't it? Yeah, yes. next March. Ooh. Yes. We, we, can, we can usually be finding Andersons at some part during the evening. At some point during the evening, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Before dinner or yeah. after dinner yeah. or both. Yeah, whatever. Um and uh, and in car, hoping everyone's had a good evening. Oh yes. Oh yeah. And Sherry is in Scotland. Um from the first of twelve touring Scotland. I hope you have a great time as well, Sherry, yes. in Scotland. It's a long way to come to get wet, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the moment. Uh Emma. G and T. Yes, it is a G and T. It's this one is oops, hang on. This one is Emma Lump. Hi Emma. Yeah. This one is um, a Sipsmith tonight, isn't it? Yours is. Mine is. You've mine got is something no, strange. No, no, no. Mine's, mine's, mine's strawberry liqueur and Bacardi. And, Bacardi. and? And a, just a splash of mm. lemon and some tonic. Oh, and Emma wants to know if you can find it. If the tables in the bar are big enough to have double part asking for a friend. Oh, uh, I wonder, wonder which friend that is. Well, I don't know what your loyalty status is on P&O, Emma, but you'll have to come into the... Oh, remember what you and Kathy did. It's not double part. They had six drinks lined up because we were talking to the... Could have been rude not to. No, we were talking <laughs> to the hospitality manager at the time. Oh, but And God. he kept waving... No, 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 no. We did it before that. The night we had the giggles. Oh, that was terrible that giggles. was welcome wine board. Yeah. The other one was the loyalty party, and that was that was um, where we had the officers stood beside us. Yes. Waving them in. Waving them in. Before the captain came and saw us. Yes. It was a nice captain. It was a nice captain. Yeah, very uh, nice. No, no, the one with all the because because it was Richard that was hiding the, the glasses. I know. I know. Mm. But it was good. It was good. Mm, very good. <laughs> yes, they are big enough. Just, yes, and but there's always some way, a nook and cranny that you can hide the empties so that the waiters will come down and give you more. Oh, did I say that? Mm. No. And congratulations again to, to Steve on that. Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, Dave's using, oh, Dave is using your account. <laughs> oh, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dave. It's not Emma. She's probably away on another cruise and left it behind again. Oh, bless. Is she back now or is she away again? I can't remember. I can't remember. She's, She's never home, is she? Lizzie. She's bad as Lizzie, yeah. Um, you know, oh, have another substitute. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's we're bringing nice. people we're together. We're bringing people together. That's really oh. good. Phil, Phil Deeming. Right. Our Aurora Escape starts on Monday. Very excited. Are there any hidden gems, less obvious things that we should check out? And which bar should we keep Dillis out of? We keep that Dillis out of all of the bars. She's really bad influence on everybody, isn't she? She's yes. terrible. She's a naughty yeah, girl. She, she gets everywhere. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, uh, um, um, Anderson's is probably our favourite evening bar. Yeah. Um, it's a really and the Crow's Nest. And the Crow's Nest. From slightly later. Yeah. Before um, you go back down to masquerades for the early hours of the morning. <laughs> crow's Nest during the day is really nice to sit up there and watch the world go by. Coffee. And have coffee up there. And they do crafting lessons do up crafting. there as well. Yeah. There is one thing that's a little known secret on Aurora, and I'm not sure if they're doing it at the moment. But if you pop along to the glass house, on the I'm not sure how long your cruise is either, on the early days of the cruise, they used to, and they were talking about bringing it back, but we don't know whether they have yet. They used to do a wine pairing meal yeah. um, that you had to pay for. It wasn't that expensive, was it? I think no. it was about £35, £40 pounds each, something like that. So it was a bit more expensive. But you were taken off into this little room and you had like a table of a dozen of you and you had uh, you had uh, a menu in there and choice of two in each course, oh, wasn't I can't it? Remember that. And then you get a, a wine that paired with that and they'd be told all about the wine. So that's a little gem if they're doing it again. That and was really good on Sometimes there. they'll do gin tasting. Gin tasting. Um, sometimes they will they will do just wine tasting. Um, which without the food um, so there's things to look out for but you some of the things like the, the gin tasting and the, and the wine tasting go and ask them um, gin tasting would probably be in Anderson's 
Hmm. But if you ask in any of the main bars, they will be able to point you in the right direction as to which bar would be organising it and hmm. which one to speak to. Because hmm. they have reduced their bar choices quite yeah, they have a lot recently, yeah. hmm. um, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, but it's... yeah, so that's probably probably the, the little things. So Keith says they're actually on the Around Britain cruise. Yeah, we've never done an Around Britain no, cruise. But he's on the one on June the third. But the, the June one with the um, the cer- celebration, I should think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the long, yeah, yeah. The, the actual naming ceremony. Oh, yeah. Up at June. Oh, yeah. So you'll be going into Liverpool as well for the ma- naming ceremony. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice. As Cheryl says. Yes. Oh, Liverpool. Yes. Mm. Not too far from you. I think the traffic will be horrendous getting to Liverpool from North Wales. Mm. Yeah, it's special, isn't it? Yeah. So does that mean that we'll be going on a ship with no name when we're on it? <laughs> Well, I would hope that they'll see her off somehow because it's our home. It's not our home. Is it? Yes, it will be our home port. Um, but Q, so it's, it's, yeah, it's it, yeah. Cunard is has got uh, its roots in Liverpool. Yeah, certainly. So yeah. we understand That's why they're doing it. So Dave, aka Emma, is, is <laughs> looking for his masquerade glass. So he can wear his glasses. <laughs> Put contacts in. It's much easier. Oh, um, postcard and pilot. We're trying to get that so she would love to see it and afford to go on it. Yeah, we're travelling from the North Wales to... Oh, perhaps you could share a lift together. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. We share a lift with Pete, don't you? Right. Um, oh. Oh, so all right. So Katie says, thank you. Last time I was on for art, I saw a man walking a Siamese cat on a lead. As you do. That's different, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You've seen all sorts of strange things all over the place. Um... So, yeah, asking Keith about that one. Uh, Robert. New Jersey. New Jersey. Nice of you to join us, Robert. Wow. Wow. Coming from everywhere. Piscataway. Have I pronounced that right? I have no idea. I can't tell with me glasses. Tell us. (laughs) Tell us in a minute. (laughs) Don't want to be rude. We'll join us from all that way. We haven't been up there for since 2022, have we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, and Rose, Rose has booked Fred for January 26th. Well done, Rose. It really was good. Because Rose has done quite a few saga cruises as mm-hmm. well. And she was saying that she thought Fred was as good, if not better than saga, but sort of half the price mm. or cheaper, better yeah. price. Because, of course, we always see a better price because Rose quite often travels so, solo, yeah. which puts the price up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, they're talking to one another. Oh, cheers, girl. I'm ten years. You're ten years older than me. Wow. Oh. Good Lord, Jerry. I didn't think that. It must be your young mannerisms and your young way. Mm. Right. Next question. Have we ever done a Christmas cruise? No. No. We've done Christmas <laughs> markets cruise, but we've never actually been away from Christmas. And there's a a, a personal reason for that. My dad's ninety three, um, and since we lost mum. He comes to us every year for Christmas. He's not up to going on a cruise anymore. We took him with us last time in 2019, didn't we? We did. So we won't be going on a Christmas cruise. Not while he's still here. Not while Dad's around. So maybe in 10 years' time. But I would do one. I would do a Christmas cruise. But, yeah, yeah, we we can't leave him on his own at Christmas. It's not fair. Um, But, yeah, have you done one, guys? Um... Because we have friends that went, and they sort of... They didn't like it. They thought feelings. No, they, they, what, which in Cali? Yeah. No, they really didn't like they it. They didn't like it because know. they missed the family and the whole... No, the family. Home. I know they had the sons with them, but they missed the whole larger family. Yeah. and Yeah. No, they didn't like it at but all. But we will be doing one. Yeah. At some point yeah. Um, in the future. On, uh, on which cruise line? Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sherry's... Oh, yeah. In Colombia. Oh, she's not oh. in Charlotte at the moment. Uh, 90 oh, minutes okay. from Charlotte. Only 2.27 here. Oh, my goodness. So drinking till tonight. MSC ships are too big for... We yeah. don't mind a big ship. Don't mind a big one, no. no. I don't mind the size of the ship. It's it's what's on it and the ambience of the ship. But, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, nice to me. Yeah, it, it was nice. Oh, yeah, we're talking to... Oh, yeah, and Rose and Gil and Borealis in June. Eight uh, days. Oh, nice. We're hardly home in May and June, yeah. are we? <laughs> oh, my wife and I love your... Thank you, thank Robert. You. That's very kind. They're funny and informative. 25 hour. We're going to be cruising on the 
Oceana Insignia. Oh, right. Have you cruised on Oceania Line? If so, how is your... Yeah, we've cruised on Oceania Line once and we cruised on Riviera, mm -hmm. but we are booked again for next year. Yeah, next year. Um, but we're not on the Insignia. No. We're going on Vista next year. Um, we fell in love with it. If you haven't seen it, there's a series of vlogs on Riviera. Yeah. Um, if you want to have a look, feel free to do so. Um, but, yeah, it's in the playlist all about it. But it was very special. I don't know what else, what other lines you've cruised on, Robert, but there were, the best... There, there are things that, 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 that happen that, that are pampering type things that are just yeah. run in the mill there. I've never seen cushions plumped the way they plump the cushions in, in the particular bar that we spent quite a bit of time in. No. Um, and, and as people got up and, and moved off to another another bar or dinner or whatever, there would be one person for early evening for about three hours and their allocated job for that period of time was to plump cushions. And they would just go around, they would tidy everything up, they would wipe down the tables, they would plump the cushions, put the little... Yeah, yeah, thing yeah. In the middle. Yeah. And, and it would just, you just sit there and watch them. And you, unless you were watching them, you wouldn't really realise what mm. they were doing. But it was subtle. It was, it was very, very My special. My one regret on Oceania, and I'll give you this as a hint, Robert, if you haven't been on there before, is that if you want something, <laughs> ask for it. Because there yeah. were times when we, we were a bit, I think we were a bit like, Wow, gobsmacked with the whole yeah. thing because it was a wonderful experience. And from the moment you get on the ship, it was like the ship and the staff on there were giving you a big hug. That's how I felt. It was just just felt very special. Um, so it was the first sort of upmarket cruise we've done, really. Um, and it felt very special. But there are things that we gradually learned that if you ask for them, you'll get them. Mm. I like a particular cocktail that they used to make on P&O and they don't do it anymore. So I said to the guy, could you make me this cocktail? And he said, yes, sir. Do you know what's in it? I said, no. He said, I'll look it up. So he, he gets on the internet, looks up what um, what this cocktail is and makes us one. And I said, it's not quite right. And he said, so he adjusted it, made us another one and <laughs> made us about four or five. And we tried them all. So that's the sort of thing they're really good at. Um, my only slight criticism is that it does go to bed early. Yes. The whole ship shuts then it's down. All, it's also very um, very port orientated. Yes. So very, people tend to be very busy on port days. Mm. So it kind of goes hand in hand that it goes <clears> to <throat> bed a little bit early. Um, but even for us, it was... <coughs> <coughs> oh. Anyway. Excuse me. So, yeah, we better move on because we're all behind. Um, Rose is on Balmol in oh, 26 okay. at the end year. Thank you so much for the answer. You've helped a lot. Thank you, Postcard Thank you. and the Pipe. Uh, maiden Voyage, yes. We hope the Maiden's good. Oh, Paul and Carol. Hi, guys. Nice to see you here. Yet yeah, we are. Yes. We have we decided are. we are. On that one, we are because Paul's on there. And, <laughs> if, and if I've got to drink Thatcher's with Paul... <laughs> I'm having a drinks package because I won't keep up with them and I'm going to go on the gin instead. Okay. And the wine no, on there. I, th I think we came down on the side of um, it. For this one, I think probably, yes. Mm. Um, it's it, We've only got two port days. So there's going to be a lot of days when you're actually on yeah. the ship. And I just think that it's probably um, yeah. better value. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll, have we'll, work, we'll work it out. Yeah. 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 But we'll I, I think out. anything a bit longer that we might not but we'll see how it goes. Mm. Oh, yeah, and Sherry's saying that, yeah, we've got videos on Oceana. Oh, that's uh, fine. Mm -hmm. Sherry's just swapped over. Oh, Sherry, the same. Yeah. Um, Sherry, let's just keep going down to it. I see Alfie. Ah, so Alfie's doing the hot drinks package on Queen Anne. Well, we tend to not yeah. drink a huge amount of coffee on board, do we? Unless we're on Oceana and we're in baristas. They Which be is special. Included? What? If we have the drinks package? They will, yeah. But well, Alfie's doing that one because yeah, yeah. the drinks package on q and is quite expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. Yeah, Tom and Dom have reviewed Ambassador. We, we've seen their stuff. Um, and, yeah, we... And Rose has been on there three times. So, so we'll have to be in touch with you as well. Yeah, we'll have to be in touch. So we would, but we just can't find the one, no. that only one, and it's still not quite right. But we would love to go. Uh, and Rose says it doesn't compare well to Fred. Oh, right. Oh, that's interesting mm. to know. 
Okay. But then we, we sort of are becoming a bit of a, a Fred lover, haven't we? Yeah, we are. Right, let's go back up here. We've got an awful lot of things to get through. Commodore Sue, Tom and Dom did a great view. Thanks, Ken. Lindsay, if you'll reply, we'll let you know how it goes. So, travelling light. I'm just going down to see if I can Do they sell Renegade? Do oh. they sell Renegade on <laughs> Queen Anne? I don't, I don't think they do, because we have asked before. Yeah. Um, but Renegade's a wine that they do on... Princess. princess and we're back on her in september but the only place we could get it last time was in the crown grill yes they didn't right. have it elsewhere yeah. so that was a bit of a bit Dave. of a downer Dave, <laughs> Dave, get off my other account you shouldn't have so many emma you shouldn't have so many <laughs> it's all it's all war here <laughs> yeah yeah thanks for feeling the love what should we regret? oh thank you very much that's very nice of you to say so, so uh, much good day arthur Oh, good day, Arthur. Arthur's from down in Adelaide, so he's probably watching us on the way to work again. Yeah, probably. He quite often watches things on, on the way oh. to work. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very thank much, you. Robert. Um, her oh. last name is pronounced Wandlane Court. Wandlane Court. Oh, Love right. you guys. Thank you very much. So let's try it. So if I can do it. Robert Wandlane Court, hopefully. I don't see you trying very hard. I um, thought you could do it for me. Oh, a mic. <laughs> Hi from Vienna. In Virginia. In Virginia. Oh Love your vlogs. Lucy Cruz on Viking did. And Oceana liked it doing a Regent Transatlantic in November. Oh, very nice. Oh, wow. Regent. Yeah, we haven't quite um, saved no, up for that yet, have they? <laughs> Maybe when we get our state pension, that, that would pay for a Regent cruise. Yeah, what, a year's worth? A year's yeah. worth, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've got a few years. And even then, we'd be that, down yeah. in the bilges. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lovely. Um, so, Commodore Steve says, "Christmas on Venture Canaries and Madeira was great." Yeah, we will do one um, at some point. Uh, cruising gays. Mark has done Queen Mary two at Christmas, and we're looking into Sapphire Princess for Christmas in the Caribbean. Oh, oh now lovely. that would be different, wouldn't it? It would. You'd have to fly though. <sighs> Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge beach lover. I, I, I'm not really a sun person, am I? No, no. But best, I, we've got I'm, to do. I'm, I'm we've best. got to do a Caribbean cruise. But I think we'll do a sail out and sail back one. Okay. Thirty odd days at some point. Yeah, just got to find the right ship to do it on. <laughs> <coughs> so, Mister and uh, Mister ML says they were on. Uh, oh, on the oh yeah. We actually oh. one of my dad's neighbours was on that cruise yeah. and. I think they're still fighting for compensation oh. at the moment, but yeah, it wasn't we good, heard was it? that it wasn't good at all. And Tom and Don, of course, were on there, um, and yeah, it wasn't a good experience. Uh, thank you, Katie. Yes, all the best. <laughs> uh, so I'll just see if there's any more any the more best questions. Of course, it here. is, Katie. <laughs> No, I think that's all the questions. So we've covered them. Now, Lindsay, you've just got one or two things that you want to say about in your book well, yes. before we go. Do you want me to get my book? Yeah, get your book out. Oh, she's got a book over there. Sorry I about it. this. I need you talking. Not very well prepared, are we? But the time's gone so quickly. It's gone eight o'clock already, and we didn't realise it, uh, did we? Uh, it's nothing. We should nothing, have stopped earlier. Nothing exciting. It's just I would like to thank everybody that's already signed up for our, our little newsletter. Yeah. Um, and the first edition has gone out and I'm part way through edition number two. Yes. Um, so we are uh, putting bits and pieces together for that. Um, so that will come out um, well mid-April, I would have thought. And if anyone else wants to sign up, how do they do it? They just go to our website. To and, and contact us contact page. Contact us page and just put newsletter. newsletter. In and we will add you to our mailing list and by way of return we'll send you a copy of the first one or if the second one's out by then the second one um, just so that you've got acknowledgement of, of actually signing up hmm. um, and we've also now got um, a shop up and running oh yeah well yeah yeah sort of so Lindsay's been doing a cruising ducks for some time and several people have bought some off you but it was very difficult for people to get them so We've set up a slightly easier to use shop, so it's self checkout and everything. Credit card information on there. But the only thing on there at the moment is the ducks, isn't it? Yes, yes. But each one has a little story. Each one has a little story about it. So have a look if you if you don't want to buy it, just go along and have a bit of a giggle. Yeah. At their bios. <laughs> <laughs> um, and 
we oh I had contacts from P and O. Yeah, P and O oh, do yes. this thing where they get you to put photographs up on on their one of their pages, um, and I put one um, of it, it was a memory actually. It's this one, and I put that yeah. one up, and they've actually come back to me. I know they do it to a lot of people, but they actually came back and asked if I would be happy to for them to use it in their publicity. Yeah. So I have signed the documentation and sent it back and you never know if you see that and it's the accreditation is for me you saw it here first yeah oh what have i done i don't know what you've done no it's all right that's better uh oh and we put out when we put out that message the other day we put up a, oh, oh, yes. a question about yes. the ship in the bay yes there was we did this little reel didn't we yeah and there was all these sand and sand and sea it was called wasn't it so. sand and sun and there was a picture of a ship in the bay and we asked what it was and where was it and who was it Lindsay? so the ship was actually aurora hmm. the bay although she was outside of osmington village um, effectively, uh, it's actually classified as Weymouth Bay, and she was there because she was there during layup during mm. the COVID period and spent quite some time there. Bless her. We were quite sad, weren't we? So during lockdown, when <laughs> no one was sailing, we just and when you were allowed to travel, we just used to drive down and just sort of look at the ships and go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a bit bizarre. It was, but then we, yeah, you know, we couldn't do anything else. So. Yeah. Oh, essential preparation, making lists, and well, we just chuck it in, don't we? Yeah, we're quite <sighs> hazard. Well, we have to be a bit more organised for May because we haven't got long between one cruise and another. No, so I take care of all my video and photography stuff. That's me, and charge it all up and do it. And I usually do that a day before. I clean the car. Um, that's my job as well. And that means that our next door neighbour knows that we're going away. Yeah, um, <laughs> and then. We found it easier. I packed my case. Lindsay packed her case. If we've only got one each. Um, and that way we can't blame each other. Can we? Because you always used to moan about my stuff. I always used to moan about your stuff. Taking up too much room. So we have one each. And then Lindsay tops mine up with her stuff. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, no, we, we don't do spreadsheets or things like that, do we? I think, I think one of the advantages, of be, because we go quite we're fortunate enough to go quite often is that you get into a routine and we don't pack until sort of late afternoon the day before we go because we drive up on the day to southampton most of our cruises don't we so you know about four o'clock in the afternoon i'll go up and pack and iron me formal shirts that might have to be slightly different this time as well because i'm doing election work before yeah you are so um, yeah. i will have a, f a few hours out each mm. day going and doing some admin work for the local elections. Yes. And Michael's asking, do we have any cruises booked on Aurora? Yes. yes, we do. And we're really looking forward to it. So we are on Aurora on the 18th of May. So we get off Queen Anne and we're on Aurora a week later. <laughs> a tight time. But that's because we booked that one before Queen Anne was moved from January to May. So, yeah. So... That um, we have, and we're really looking forward. She's still our favourite P&O ship, isn't she? Yes, she is. We love her a bit. Yeah, very fond of that ship. Um, oh, thank you, Janine. <laughs> thank you, Janine. It's great. And we'll see you on Aurora next year as well, won't yeah, we? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Um, we should split your... Ca yes. That's something that we have thought about. Yes. Um, but... I know Paul and Carol did it, and, and it saved them um, it on their lay. I don't think... I've never heard, although I'll touch wood, I've never heard of anyone losing cases when they take them to the port and they go on the ship. They directly. lost some in the dock one day. Some fell over, didn't they? That yeah. was on Ventura, didn't they? Some <laughs> fell in the, in the, but, um, in the dock. Side. Yeah, I yeah. suppose because we, we go from Southampton. At the moment. At the moment. Mm -hmm. um, well, if we go from anywhere else, I'm going to be sedated so much that he won't have to do any, everything anyway. Um, uh, so... Yeah, we haven't really got that issue because we sort of take it in and there might be sort of a couple hours between one case arriving and another one, but um, yeah, we've not but touched we, wood we, had that problem. No, you know. But it's a sensible idea, especially if you're flying anywhere. I think I if we were really flying, we'd do idea. it. I think if we were flying, we'd do it. We'd yeah. just have to argue because she'd have two thirds of both the cases and I'd have a little bit yeah. in top. And I, So Michael's getting off on the 15th of May. Wow, we know... 
Oh, 15th. We know quite a few people who are getting on on the, on 15th, the 15th of May, yeah, don't we? we? Do. But yeah, yeah. three days, that's Fortunately, all we miss Fortunately, most of them will be off by the time we yeah, get on there. Yeah. <laughs> it's so like they leave something for us in the bar. Mark and Lindsay say thanks for a fun hour. And I did see Phil and Sheila. Hi, Phil. Hi, Sheila. Oh. You're off on Sky soon. So thanks for joining us as well. So we better say goodbye because we've been Did you want to it. mention the next live? Oh, yes. Hmm. So, the next live is due to be on the first week of May. As we've said all night, we are on Queen Anne on the first week of May. And we are going to try and do a live on um, from Queen Anne on board. We're not quite sure where or when yet, because we're not quite sure where the hours are going to be. Um, but, yeah. We're going to try that. Because of changing the hours because of going between Spain and the UK. So as soon as we know that, probably when we're on board, we will be putting out. We're going to try and do it on the Monday, um, but we'll have to wait and see yeah. what we can do with dining and stuff like that, first of all. Because as I said earlier, we don't want to uh, mm. to mess up our holiday. And uh, Paul, Paul and, Carol, and Carol, wise words. Yeah. Wise words. Very wise guys. You see, Paul and Carol have... Been there, done that. Been there, and done it, and I think they were about their case for about a week or ten days. Um, so yeah. Oh, and they're missing on Ventura, Ventura. for twenty four wow. hours. Wow, that's not good. We have been lucky then. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Perhaps horrible. nobody wants a pink suitcase. <laughs> Could be the case. Got some horrible bright pink suitcases, and it makes them very easy to spot in baggage <laughs> collection, and that's why we got them. So Margaret is saying thanks. So thank you all once again, guys, for joining us. And I uh, hope it's been fun and informative. We've certainly enjoyed it, haven't yeah, we? we? Have, yeah. And uh, cheers to you all. Yes. Cheers. Thank you. Happy cruising for those that are cruising. Yeah. Bye-bye. And those, those that aren't, have another drink. Yeah. Cheers. Bye-bye. Why not pop over to our website, kengoscruising.co.uk. There you can find out a little more about us. Check out our reviews on ships we've cruised on and some of the ports of call we've enjoyed to date. We also have a small online shop for you to browse that includes our very own Delist Cruising Ducks. If you'd like to contact us about anything, just go to our Contact Us page.